Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope and I am back with one of my favorite videos and that is, if you like this, try this. So I have actually grown to absolutely love doing these. I think it's so much fun to find like the commonalities between books and see like, is it the characters? Is it like the setting? Is it the scene? Like what is it that makes them similar? Um, and also if I end up liking the two as much, you know what I mean? So like, did I, did I give them both five stars? Did I give them both three stars? Like, how did it go? What happened? So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, um, but I'll also tell you like why I, I did or didn't like whichever one more, but I'm going to tell you why they're similar as well. So sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So the first one that I have is The Princess and the Rogue by Kate Bateman. This is part of the Bow Street Bachelor series. Absolutely love it. And in this one, we are following our main characters. I'm not going to go like super in depth with like names and everything, but someone's out to get her. He has to keep her safe. And in the process, he falls for her. Okay. Love it. Love like a bodyguard-esque situation. Um, also, <laughs> Like, let's take a second. That's absolutely stunning. So if you have read this and like it, um, might I suggest Kiss Me at Christmas by Valerie Bowman. So we have the same sort of scenario here. We have a hero who has to protect our heroine from something and in the process falls for her. Like, okay, sounds great, right? Um, I gave this one five stars. And I gave this one five stars. So I absolutely adore both of these. I think they're fantastic. They do have a lot of commonalities. Um, a super protective hero, a heroine who's kind of like independent, but also is like someone's out to get her and she doesn't know why. And honestly, both of these have like a great scene where like they meet kind of. So in this one, she propositions him. In this one, he thinks she works at a brothel. Like it's so fun. So I honestly recommend both of these. If you have read The Princess and the Rogue, I, I really believe that you will love Kiss Me at Christmas. Um, I think you could read this at any point as well. It's not super Christmas heavy, even though it's a little bit Christmas heavy. So yes. Next, I have Waiting for a Scot Like You by Eva Lee. In this one, we have a hero who is escorting a hero our heroine on a road trip that is absolutely filled with calamities. So he's actually escorting her to a house party. Um, he doesn't want to. He's doing it as a favor. But, like, literally everything that could go wrong goes wrong. I absolutely loved it. Um, and then... If you like that one, I think you'll like Lord Holt Takes a Bride by Vivian Lorette. So in this one, we have a hero and a heroine who have embarked on a road trip. Um, neither of them really want to be there, and also everything goes wrong. <laughs> so in this one, it's a little bit different because she ran away from a wedding, and he is taking her to her aunt's house, um, but still a long road trip, and literally everything that could go wrong goes wrong. I really believe that you'll like them. The road trip similarities in these are super good. They're a whole lot of fun. Um, I love like a road trip, but I especially love a road trip that is just full of chaos and shenanigans. Like, let me tell you. 10 out of 10. So, Waiting for a Scot Like You, I gave five stars. This is my first Eva Lee book, and I absolutely adored it. Lord Holt Takes a Bride, I ended up giving three stars. I didn't dislike it. It just was not like my favorite book. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. Just sometimes I don't vibe with the book and this was one of those times, but it was still a very readable book and I think it was still a good book. I just wasn't enamored with the characters and that's a me issue, but I think that other people are going to like it. So if you like a road trip from hell, like grab these. They're both really great for that. Um, then on to some bad boys. If you like Scandalous Desires by Elizabeth Hoyt. So we have a river pirate king and a heroine who he is kind of obsessed with, but also is with him, not really on her own volition. I mean, kind of, but not fully because she has to stay in order to take care of this child. Um, and they fall for one another and literal chaos ensues. I loved this book. If you like that, 
I think that you'll like The Duke with the Dragon Tattoo by Kerrigan Byrne. So in this one, we are following our main characters. They knew each other's children. They were in love, and he ended up getting sent off on a ship. And years later, he has become a pirate. Um, and on her wedding day, he comes and grabs her and kind of kidnaps her, takes her with takes her with him, and literal chaos ensues. Um, this one is really good. It's a little bit dark, but it's super good. I absolutely adored it. Also, like, I think this one is so pretty, but this one is super good. And so is this one. I actually read The Duke of the Dragon Tattoo first, and I read Scandalous Desires really recently, but I feel like it is one that is probably a little bit more well-known um, because Maiden Lane has been around for a little bit. But honestly, the similarities here are very, very strong, and they are like pirates, but you're not like peg-leg pirates, I guess. Pirates without the parrot maybe. I don't really know exactly how to say that. But honestly, absolutely love these both. So I gave Scandalous Desires five stars and I gave the Duke with a Dragon Tattoo five stars. Absolutely love them both. Absolutely recommend them both. Then the last ones that we have, we are focusing kind of on our heroines here that are similar. So if you like the Raquel of Roth, this one's going to be for you. So in the Raquel of Roth, we have our heroine. She writes this like romance column, this like love and romance kind of advice column. And she is married, but her husband is absent. So she ends up embarking on a quest to win him back. But like throughout all of that, like you get all this great advice from the column. She actually writes it with a friend of hers and she's a super strong heroine. She is willing to go to the ends of the earth. Like she is so fantastic. I absolutely love it. If you like a heroine like that, you are going to like The Truth About Love and Dukes by Laura Lee Gerg. In this one, we have a heroine who writes a column called Lady True Love, which is like a relationship advice column in a scandal sheet. And she ends up meeting a duke because she gives advice to his mother that his mother takes and he wants her to fix it. So she ends up like coming into the duke's home and he's introducing her to society. So a little bit different like in total, but we have another heroine who writes a super fun, super great column that she made herself. So a like self-made author heroine um, who will do anything. She is so passionate about what she does. She's so passionate about her family. Like 10 out of 10. So if you like the heroine in The Ray Keller Roth, I really think that you're going to like the heroine in The Truth About Love and Dukes. So I gave The Ray Keller Roth five stars. I gave The Truth About Love and Dukes three stars. The reason that I only gave this one three stars is because I felt like some of the chapters were like unnecessarily long and they were just like one single conversation between the characters for like 20 pages. And I just got a little bit frustrated. So this one is a lot sexier, I'm going to tell you that, but I think this one is really good as well, and I think that you can kind of fill the pull between the two characters so you know that there's something there. I absolutely enjoyed both of these. I loved the Raquel of Roth, but I love the heroines in both of these. I love how strong they are. I love how, like, take no bullshit they are. So if you like the Raquel of Roth, I think that you're going to like The Truth About Love and Dukes. So those are four books that I recommend and four more that I recommend alongside them. Um, if you read any of these, let me know. If you agree, let me know. If you don't agree, you can let me know too. But that is it. That's all that I have for you guys today. I do hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.